Welcome back, guys. We are going to do some fun coloring to our bunny character. We've already done the inking, so if you have uh, jumped on later, uh, we already spent quite a bit of time. I went through the entire inking process so we can get some, uh, uh, one, some custom brushes. I did give you that file in the other video. Uh, and then I spent the entire time inking from start to finish without speeding anything up. So you guys can easily follow along, especially if you are a beginner. So what we're going to do today is we are just going to go through and we are going to color this. We're going to go through the, the live paint bucket. And then we'll kind of do some of the, uh, the Pathfinder to do some highlights and shadows uh, and just give a little bit of depth. So this will be a flat uh, shading type character. So we probably won't do any gradients in this one. Uh, so uh, let's get going on it. So right now, I have my line. I believe if I click on it, I have already uh, expanded all of my lines. And then I have also done Pathfinder and united them. So that was at the end of the last video. Uh, so everything is pretty much one big shape at this point in time. And uh, we're ready for live paint bucket. Now before we move on, let's see if it's hanging out anywhere. I have up at the top here, I've already taken my color splotches. I've just used my simple eyedropper. So I've gone eyedropper, come over with my splotches, and then I've dragged those into my swatches. And I've also added a couple different variations um, from tints and shades. And uh, so that was just me clicking on each one, click, 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 and then dragging it over. So that was kind of what I did beforehand, just so all my colors are just hanging out in my swatches right now. Okay. And then if you uh, are looking for the colors, all I did was type in pink bunny into the, uh, I went to Adobe Cooler. So I think it's adobe.color.com. Um, and then you can kind of explore, I believe, is the link and then you can just start finding some splotches. So it doesn't have to be pink. You can kind of do whatever you want. Have some fun with it. But let's go into uh, the live paint bucket. So first thing we're gonna do is go up to Object. You'll see Live Paint. Just come on over and hit Make. And I'm gonna do this. I do wanna just duplicate Bunny Line. So I'm gonna duplicate one and just lock it out. I'm just gonna whoop, there we go okay so with the live paint bucket and I'll just zoom in a bit you'll see these little squares kind of as you go around it and that'll just kind of let you know hey it's a live paint bucket and uh, we will scroll it's kind of hiding sometimes let me just it's either hiding a shape builder I believe is where it's usually hiding under live paint bucket Let's just start with our hue. And you'll see these little red, it'll kind of highlight up where it'll say, is this where you're looking to go? And then notice that there is that little black arrow, a little different than Photoshop. Sometimes the uh, tip of the paint bucket spill is what it's actually looking at. So right now I'm just gonna fill in all of my solid pink areas. Let's do the ears. Cool, looks good. And then I can just use my arrows and you can kind of see the little squares. It'll just go right through my splotches there. I want to do the face. I want these guys to be the same. I might color those a little bit different. And I think I want a dark nose. Boom. Okay, so that was it. So the nice thing about the live paint bucket is it's very, very quick. So that's very, very nice. I'm just going to click off of it. Uh, notice I have my line that's going to be nice and clean just in case anything happens. I have my line version. It's already locked out. And then also if I'm, let's say, using the paintbrush or if I'm doing anything else, I'm not going to have to worry about keeping my lines nice and clean. So that's already uh, kind of above it. All right. So next, I'm going to go up to Object. I want to click on Expand. Hit OK. And then you're going to kind of notice that these went back. So a lot of times people will forget that expand after the live paint bucket, and it'll kind of fight you on a couple different things. Okay. Now at this point, everything is one big group. So I want to just kind of keep clicking on stuff 
until it is all by itself. Usually three is the magic number. There we go. One, two, three. So some of this stuff is fairly connected. So you're going to notice that this body, part of the arm here, part of this leg, that's all one big shape. So if I'm trying to, to kind of subtract some things, that could be a little bit of an issue later. So let's just see where things are hiding for me. I think I want knife. Okay. Let's see if we can do this nice and neatly here. I want that. Maybe I want that. Okay. That's not too bad. So all I did there was I took the little knife tool and I had the head combined with the body with part of the arm and the leg. So that was all one big giant shape. So if I was going to be doing the Pathfinder, I'd have to keep doing the, all these other weird shapes. I did that in the last video and it was uh, fairly annoying. So I just wanted to break those up so we can do some simple things. So let's just kind of start with this head. I'm gonna do Command C, Command F. So all I'm doing is edit copying and then I'm edit pasting in front. Okay, so right now, I should have two head shapes. So I've got one shape, two shapes, and we're gonna do a nice little shadow. Now I'm just gonna try and do as much of this with our elliptic. Okay, let's do a little planning here. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, this is just so you guys can see it. Now, anything that is pink, and I'll, I'll color this back. Let's just color that back. This will be our dark. So anything that is not overlapped will start to be our shadow. Uh, now just looking, maybe we'll rotate it then a little bit. I just want to see if that little edge right here. You know what? It looks pretty good. Just so you guys get the general gist. So I'm going to have my white one selected. Hold down shift. I'm going to come back over here. This is my new kind of dark shape that I'm looking to. And I'm just going to go minus front. So now I'm going to have the pink. And I'm going to start getting kind of these background shadow type shapes. Okay. Now I want to do kind of just a body shadow. And that is actually going to go under this. But I want to do the, uh, where's our knife tool hiding? There's our knife tool. Let's do right through. Let's just see if that did anything. Totally didn't do anything. All right, let's go for it. Command C, Command F. So I have a new body shape. Let's color that dark so you can see it. Okay, I, now keep in mind that I want that kind of the back of him dark. And I'll color this as well. Let's color that back to white so you guys can see it. Okay, black arrow. Now whatever, and I'm just going to click on this. So notice that anything that's kind of hanging out over here, that's what's going to be shown. I kind of want it to go right under that leg. Mm -mm. All right, let's give it a test. Click, click, minus front. Not awful. Now let's just do a nice, simple pen tool. I want click. Maybe I just want a simple click. Alt, 
come back on itself. Let's just transition that over. Okay, looks good. All right, back leg. Why do I feel like we could probably, what do you think? Click, click, click. Let's just be simple. Color those dark. Oh, it's making it too easy. Let's just do the same thing with the foot. Color that one dark. Oh, making it too easy. Okay, let's do the pen tool and let's just do a simple little shadow. Click. Drag it on back. Channel. Well, let's make this whole one sharp, dark. Oh, adorable. All right, let's do the face. Control C, Control F. This one's going to go pretty simple. Major decision on this one will just be, do I want that shadow coming here and then back under? And I'm going to say, sure, why not? No, I'm not doing a lot with the direction, direct selection tool, but you could totally come in and try and match all the stuff up, which isn't an awful idea. With that little handle. So I can kind of get some more unique type of uh, shadow colors. Let's just, so you guys can see what we're looking at. Little shadow. Okay. Let's, that one's selected. That one is selected. Mine is front. And now I've got both. Now, if any time you're doing this and it basically cuts out your face, that just means you didn't copy a new shape. So that's really probably the number one thing I see the, the kids do is... Uh, they'll just forget to copy and then paste the, the new shape in. So this basically will have the nice white background because you'll just cut out the face color. Okay, let's do a little bit on the nose here. Control C, Control F. I've got a new nose shape. And I just want the bottom here. With that little half moon shape, just so we can see what we're doing. Let's color that a little bit darker. Okay, easy peasy. Hold shift. Minus front. Okay, this is looking good. Um, since we're uh, doing this, why not do a few little just unique little highlights here. So I'm just gonna kinda use the pen tool Let's just zoom in so you guys can see what we are doing. Okay, click on that. Let's do our nice little Highlight pink here. I think I'm just going to do one for ear, belly, and foot. And I think we'll call it a day. We might do a little shadow. And then I think we'll probably be pretty good with this one. Okay, looks good. Kind of want one kind of tucking through here. Click and drag. And 
let's just see what happens if we tuck that under here. Move it back up. Don't like it as much. Tweak, tweak, tweak. Okay, back to pen tool. Click, drag, alt. Missed it. Pretty adorable. All right, let's just do a simple one with this one. Let's just do, and I'm just gonna go our black, black arrow. I'm gonna go range, send that one all the way to back. Okay. So that would be kind of an easy version of kind of flat color. And you guys can totally switch up these colors. That could be a gray. You can also mess around with some uh, gradients, if you will. And we'll do that in some other uh, tutorials. Okay. But other than that, I think we have a pretty easy little flat little color. And uh, we'll go from there. We can also put some highlights in the eyeballs, things like that. We can also add some different things with the feet. So if you wanted to take more time with it. Uh, that would be kind of a good version. Maybe put some more shadows on the, the fingers there. But I think we got a nice little flat color here. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe.